Hey guys, it's Jess and I'm back here with another video for you. Today I have a room review from Coronado Springs, but before I get into that, I wanted to welcome anybody who is new. I'm, I'm Jess from Disney Jess and I do Disney related content about three times a week usually, although for December I'm doing videos from December 1st through the 25th for Vlogmas, so I hope you enjoy that. But let's talk about that room now. So I stayed there for the pen event, which is in November, I want to say. It's been a while. It's been so busy around here. Oh my gosh. But anyhow, I stayed in the Grand Dest Destino Tower <laughs> and I had a lake view room with two queen beds. Um, the nightly rate is about 236, I want to say, for a room without a view. I think that was a standard room. Anyhow, but we had a really nice room and I hope you'll check it out and I'll give you some pros and cons here at the end. So let's go. Hey guys, I just got to my room at Coronado. I'm in the tower, so I'm on the fourth floor. I think the room was 448 and I just thought I'd give you a quick walk around. So in here, Look at this cool shower. I mean, seriously, it's awesome. And I prefer showers when I come to the resorts anyhow, and you have your standard accommodations there, little shelves to put your own personal stuff, two shower heads, this really amazing tile work, which I wish I had in my house. You have two sinks here, but you have a nice amount of space here between the two, which is really awesome towels there this is your face soap and then a vanity kit a lotion a shower cap and a mouthwash nice little close-up mirror more towels tissues and then you have all of the storage underneath here I'm guessing that's a hair dryer in there a little dark so you can't see and then you have two little shelves here Probably nothing on that side. Nope, I don't see anything. And then this is your bathroom, which is bigger than your standard, um, bigger than your standard Disney bathroom, I feel. So nice little piece of artwork there. And then as you can see, this is a quite a nice amount of space here, which is really cool. There is a connecting door here. I'm guessing that's, you know, if you have lots of family. The floor is tiles, so it is a little echoey in here. Then you have this nice little armoire. Has a mirror here on the back. And then, of course, you have your ironing board and a little iron there in a case. A luggage thing, some hangers extra pillows and blankets up here, a safe, and a little cubby to put, you know, your shoes or whatnot in. So that's kind of nice. I like the fact that they always light up. And then you have a mirror here on the wall for getting ready. So someone's in the bathroom space, which I didn't show you this door. Let me show you this door because it's really cool. It's one of the big sliding doors. So super quiet, easy, and just a cool door but since there is no separation from where the shower is it's nice to have another area for people to get ready so you have this mirror plus the mirror inside of this little armoire so really three people can kind of be getting ready at once you have like a little spot to put your suitcase I'm guessing someone could sit on that too because it is cushioned it looks like probably faux leather and then we have two beds right there. You can see my stuff on the one. Nice big area to put any of your charging stuff, which I love. Nice little lamp. And then you have three drawers here. So if you just want to put your stuff right there, you can do that. And then over here, you have a chair which has all my stuff on it, and a lamp. So if you just want to cozy up, you're not feeling good or whatever, and hang out. Then you have a nice desk area, 
with chair so you can sit there write all your blogging notes or whatever you need to do have your laptop for editing you know unless you're a normal vacation or then maybe it's something else <laughs> but those are just three normal drawers there you have your recycle and trash bins here and here is your typical Disney fridge and you have a little coffee maker thing do they have hot chocolate that's the question they have black tea they have coffee no hot chocolate so sad and then we have mugs up here and ice so if you're getting too hot you can fill that up okay I'm gonna turn this off and adjust my settings so that I can show you our awesome view so be right back here is our view Look at that water fountain and it's just there is like a little ramp or whatever here for rain to come off but you know it can be almost like a river and a waterfall we'll go with that and then you have you know the normal buildings over there your water fountain and I believe that is a restaurant that they I don't know if it's open yet I have to check that out but not too far from where the pin event is gonna be over there so I think this is going to be perfect. Anyhow, I need to slip my shoes on and head on over to Epcot to meet Danita. And we're going to go check out some stuff. Wasn't that room absolutely stunning? I loved it. I won't lie. Like everything about the room, I, I couldn't find anything wrong with it. Because it was spacious. There was plenty of room for my stuff. The view was awesome. It was quiet. The only thing that I heard from our neighbors was the flushing of the toilets, um, which was just once. The Disney toilets, I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like they have gotten a lot louder. I'm guessing this is, they're just more high powered to make sure there aren't any clogs or anything like that. I don't know, but they are louder than like a normal toilet to me. So... I'm not sure that I would put that against them because it's pretty much universal at all the hotels that I've stayed at. So, um, there are very few things that I could find fault with this hotel. Um, it is a little further away than like the contemporary or the Polynesian, but you're not paying those prices. But the room actually in some cases is nicer than the room you're going to get there. Space wise, it's, maybe not as big but it's it's a really nice room so you get a discount for distance but you're still seeing fireworks because you can see them from there and that's awesome so the things that i were like mm, the biggest one for me was so they've switched where the lobby is the lobby used to be in a different building which is now connected so you can walk inside to everything but the old check-in location is just empty so you have all the check-in stuff there but there it's just like a ghost town you walk through and if you're walking from the tower inside say it's raining or something you have to walk through that deserted lobby and then you go to there's a fountain that used to be the first thing you saw when you came in the doors before you moved into the check-in area that fountain is dry right now so that made me a little sad i like the fountain so i don't know if they're going to redo that space i would assume so because that's real estate that they can use for something else i don't know what that's gonna be but it is indoor real estate that i'm sure they will use but right now it's it's empty it does take a little bit longer to walk to your gift shop because that's not in the tower. That's in the, um, they're probably going to call it the convention center now because that's where all the convention rooms and stuff are, as well as your food court, some of your restaurants, and your gift shop. So it is a longer walk to some of those things. The food court is one of my favorite food courts, to be honest. They always have good stuff. Um, let me see, was there anything else I wrote down I didn't like? Nope, that's it. 
So on your next trip, I, if you're considering staying there, I'd go for it. It's a really nice hotel and yeah. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.